Hay River, which meanders north for 700 kilometers through the Canadian tundra. Here in the north, the river is still in the grip of winter ice. But upstream to the south, the ice has been cracked by the spring warmth. By the end of April, the broken ice is on the move. At this point in its journey north, the river tumbles over a 35 meter drop, giving us this spectacular sight. This is Alexandra Falls, and you can see that the central flow is flowing strongly and does all winter, but the majority of the falls are still frozen solid. For six months, hardly anything at these falls has changed. Now, in the space of just a few hours, a transformation has begun. As the ice armada approaches from the warmer south. But there is still not enough water in the river to force the ice over the falls. And it piles up in a great ice dam. But eventually, it gives way. This is the moment we've been waiting for all day. All this broken ice has been backing up behind the waterfall. And what needed to happen to shift it was for the water level just to come up. And it's literally just happened, and as you can see, it is pouring and pouring over the waterfall in this great, dramatic jumble of mud and broken ice. falling off and you know at home when we talk about the arrival of spring and we talk about the snowdrops coming and the first birds tweeting well this is spring hay river style there's nothing gentle or quiet about it it's violent it's noisy and it's entirely speeded up by these warm meltwaters that have come from the south <laughs> 